Prosecution has now rested its case against Tiffany Stevens. She was, or rather is the Bloomfield woman accused of trying to hire a hitman to kill her ex-husband who took the stand today. News 8's Stephanie Simone spent the day in the courtroom. She joins us live with the very latest tonight. Stephanie. Hi, Keith. Yeah, much of that testimony actually focused on her ex-husband, Eric Stevens. Now, the prosecution for the past two days, they have laid out their case, and today it was the defense's turn. Revealing testimony about gambling, emotional abuse, and restraining orders, defense attorney Hubert Santos dug into Eric Stevens' past. And were did you communicate to her that it was your hope that her mattress would be filled with blood. In 2009, did I believe. you say that, sir? In 2009, uh, yes. And did you threaten to reveal some type of sex tapes you claim you have? Yes, in 2009 I did. His ex-wife, Tiffany Stevens, is on trial, accused of hiring John McDade to kill him. Evidence includes recordings between Tiffany and McDade, and today Santos laid out a case against Eric's character. I'm not on trial here. Santos implied yeah, Tiffany's family there. gave what Eric millions for gambling debts. How much money did he give you? 1.75, 1.8 million dollars. And Eric admitted posting, Eric Eric admitted posting Tiffany's phone number on Craigslist for anyone wanting sexual favors and threatened her father he would release naked photos of her saying that the town of Great Neck, New York is going to get an eyeful of your precious daughter with her legs wide open. Yes. Right in my ear. All of this yeah. as a jury decides yeah. Tiffany's fate and the two fight over custody of their child. The winner could receive millions linked to the child's care. You want full custody of your daughter? I want what's best for my daughter. I want what's best for my daughter. Now, tomorrow, the defense will continue calling witnesses. They could include her stepfather, Tiffany's stepfather, and her father. They're also expected to have some sort of um, expert as to those recordings. They're going to analyze them as well. That's expected to come on Monday. Court will resume here tomorrow morning at 945. We are live in Hartford. Stephanie Simone, News 8.